Hi, my friends. I didn't do my message of the week for a while for different reasons. One of them was that I had a very intensive class and I'll have another one in August. A new version of the training course, shorter, still full of information, full of descriptions of how we can improve the body. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the eyes. We really see mainly with our brain and the process of the brain. That's why Dr. Bates said you see largely with your mind and only partially with your eyes. But was he right? Just today I had a lady with a major eye problem looking with her weaker eye, getting closer to a chart and then going farther from it, closer and farther, and eventually she saw from a much greater distance that she thought she could see the chart she was looking at. Imagine what part the brain has in our vision. It's the biggest part. And so many of my exercises are exercises of the brain. And I want to train people who will come in August to my training course, both to improve the movement of the body, where we have more than 600 muscles and we use only a little bit more than 50 of them so we basically use a small portion of our muscles and we learn how to use more of them we also must learn how to improve our vision as of the 1800 the decisions of physicians was that we cannot improve our vision I think it was a very wrong decision. I'm very, very critical of that decision. I would have still been blind as I was born with cataract and was operated if I would accept that decision for the rest of my life. And today I drive, I enjoy walking, I enjoy reading sometimes. And so that decision was made by few people and everybody took it as a beginning point. Everybody took it as a premise. And that premise is wrong. Very wrong. Our job is to train many individuals that can teach others to see better, move better, overcome paralysis, overcome paralysis of the mind, and overcome paralysis of the body, and reduce or overcome injuries. For the eyes, we use many, many nice instruments. We have many instruments with which we can see better. The simplest of them is pinhole glasses. Most people, not all people, when they look through the pinhole glasses, see way better. They're so surprised because the light concentrates on the retina. And it's wonderful to observe the city and it's wonderful to observe people and you can even read better from near and from far. A wonderful other thing that we can do is have glasses of obstruction where you look with your weaker eye at the world. And for some odd reasons, medicine decided after the age of eight, it makes no difference for your brain, but it does. You look at a weak, with your weaker eye at the world and you slowly, slowly absorb it in. Then those people who see better with one eye will allow themselves to see with the pinhole glasses that I've shown before with the weaker eye. And that makes it more possible for them to see better with the eye and to unite between both. And there are several ways to unite between both. One is to put these two colors. And so as I look at the distance, I see the two colors at the same time. Some people can't, so we have them wave their hand near the color they cannot see. And then most people see the color in each opposite area because the eyes, uh, the optic nerves are crossing in the uh, uh, center of the brain. Again, many people would see the green, which is in the left, in the right side, and the yellow, which is in the right, in the left side simply because of that crossing of the nerves. And there's so many other exercises that we do 
to unite between the eyes, to look at details, to improve the periphery, to create balance use between the eyes, and to look at details. And I've done it from a very young age. I'm doing this practice for 52 years already. And it's rewarding. And every day I see better. If you look at this chart, you can see that there are different colors here. The black you can see with the red, and the yellow you can see with the green. The black with the red, yellow with the green. You cannot see the black with the green, and you cannot see the yellow with the red. And so, many people, when their eyes do not work together and they wear this red and green glasses are looking and are not seeing let's say the yellow and the red together most people do but some people don't and so we train people to start and look many different exercises for example if you cannot see the F while looking at the E we get you to close your green eye and then you will see the F then you open the eye and after 10 times you would see the E and the F together and so again, those are brain exercises. In fact, the most important part of the eye, which is so small, which is called the macula of the eye, connects to a big portion of the brain. A big portion of the brain works for the whole body with a small part of our eye. When you work on your eye, you affect your whole body, vice versa. To improve the vision, you have to work on the body, loosen it up, strengthen it, and bring more blood flow to your visual system. So when I'll be training people to work on others, I'll train them to teach others how to work with the brain in coordination with the body. Looking forward to see you again, Mia.